The authentic Apple Watch bands might not be the best value, but they're what I prefer to use and they're all really well made. In this video, I'll break down nine different authentic band styles available for the smaller Apple Watch models. The Sport Band is the original Apple Watch and it's made from a type of rubber called fluorastamir. And I think it looks good enough to wear pretty much any time. The fit can be imperfect, either too tight or too loose if you fall in between the hole sizes. I typically use the sixth hole because the fifth hole is too tight but a hole between these two is ideally what I need. The inconsistent fit can sometimes delay heart rate readings, but it's usually not a major issue. Sweat will fall off of it easily and it can be rinsed off in the sink and kept looking like new for years. The durability on the sport band is outrageous and it's my go-to band for running in hot weather. The sport loop is made from lightweight and breathable nylon. It straps around your wrist and then fastens with hook and loop. It's more comfortable than the sport band because the size is fully customizable, which provides a perfect fit. The hook and loop strength will get worn down after lots of use, but you should be able to get more than a full year of wearing it before noticing less stickiness. I use the sport loop for any low sweat exercise. However, intense summer workouts can result in the band becoming soaked with sweat, which makes it uncomfortable to wear afterwards and leads to discoloration over time. To maintain its appearance, I just switch to the sport band when I know that I'm gonna be sweating a lot. Nike has two band options. The Nike Sport Loop is similar to the regular Sport Loop, but Nike's usually has two tones in the middle part of the band, and it's slightly reflective for better nighttime visibility if you put it in direct contact with light. The Nike Sport Band is made of the same material as the regular Sport Band, but has a bunch of holes throughout it, which gives it slightly better breathability. But I think this feels about the same on the wrist as the regular Sport Band. The braided loop is made of a single braided recycled yarn piece. Despite its comfort and appearance, it's tough to justify the $99. It's prone to snagging and it costs twice as much as the sport loop which offers a similar fit and appearance. And someone as detail oriented as I am will find it annoying that the silver latch contrasts with the band color and it doesn't match certain Apple Watch cases. The braided loop is Apple's first band that doesn't offer a one size fits all universal fit. To find your precise fit, you'll have to print out the sizing sheet on apple.com and cut out the template. The sizing process is now easy to follow thanks to Apple's revised instructions. And if you know your sport band hole, it'll match your braided loop size. If you're in between sizes or just slightly over a size, I definitely recommend rounding down to the smaller size because both of my bands seem to stretch slightly after the first week of use. It's comfortable to exercise in, but after a month of intense summer workouts, it became slightly discolored from my sweat. It'll definitely be fine for moderate workouts, but it will soak up sweat. The Solo Loop is similar to the braided loop, but it's made of silicone instead. The idea of a seamless design is really appealing to me, but the material differs from the comfortable rubber of the sport band because it's stretchier and stickier. The Apple sizing guide will ensure a precise fit. Once you have the right size, it feels weightless and stays in place, but I found it uncomfortable after a few days of use and I haven't used it since. Strangely, on the other end, my wife uses the Solo Loop as her primary band and says it's the best one Apple's ever made. She loves the weightless design and the precise fit. In theory, the perfect fit, the lightness, and the easy cleaning should make this band ideal for any type of exercise. However, in my case, the sweat caused the band to stick to my skin, and when I would take it off, it left a red mark. But my wife, who works out with equal intensity, has never had this issue. The stainless steel Milanese loop comes in gold, graphite, and silver. I don't think it looks very good with the aluminum models, because of this mismatch in color between the latch and the watch case. It best complements the Apple watches with the stainless steel case. It's more comfortable than it appears because you can customize the fit to be perfect. But unfortunately, it tends to slightly loosen throughout the day with regular use, so you'll need to tighten it sporadically. It's worth noting that my wrist here has been occasionally pinched between the metal mesh when putting it on, but that doesn't usually happen. And the edges are definitely a little sharper than you would think, and if you accidentally rub it against a different part of your body wrong, it might not feel good. Aside from a casual walk or something else low intensity, it's not made for exercise and you will have to switch out into one of the bands that I've mentioned before when you work out. The leather link band comes in three colors for 2023, umber, ink, and midnight. It's one of my favorite everyday bands because it looks great and it provides great value at $99 compared to the rest of the bands. I love that the leather latches are the same color as the band, which means that it'll look good with any stainless steel or aluminum Apple Watch. It clicks into place with a satisfying snap at each magnetic bump, serving as size increments. The magnet power is stronger than the Milanese Loop, 
but the fit customization is more limited. If you're in between sizes, it'll be a looser fit than ideal because if you want a tighter fit, flexing the wrist can cause it to unsnap to the next size down. This is the same exact sizing issue that the sport band has. And this is a band not suitable for exercise. You don't really want to sweat in leather. So just switch to another band if you're going to work out where you're going to sweat. The modern leather buckle band features colored leather and a stainless steel buckle fastener. It's compatible with all Apple Watch models, but the connector is silver stainless steel, which means it mismatches with almost all Apple Watch models except the silver stainless steel model. At $149, it's $50 more expensive than the Leather Link or Milanese Loop. Despite normal use and never working out in it, it changed colors after six months. Unless you really like that aged leather look, I just don't think it's a good value compared to the last two bands we went over. The latch system is interesting and easy to use, but it may occasionally pinch if you have wrist hair. The comfort is fine, but the fit is similar to the sport band and not as precise as others. If you're looking for a versatile band that's suitable for exercise and everyday life, I recommend the Sport Loop band for $49. It's lightweight, comfortable, and provides a perfect fit for everyone. If you prefer a more sophisticated look for non-exercise occasions, I suggest the Milanese Loop or the Leather Link for $99. Both of these bands are well constructed and I just think they look good. I still haven't tried any of the Hermes bands. I just feel like they're really overpriced unless you're a huge fan of that brand. If you're a huge fan of Hermes, you probably already own one. And I still haven't tried the stainless steel link band either. It seems like a great way to give your Apple Watch a more traditional watch appearance, but it comes with a price tag of $349. I'm also interested in trying the newer Apple Watch Ultra bands like the Alpine Loop, the Trail Loop, and the Ocean Band. But unfortunately, these bands aren't compatible with the smaller Apple Watch model like I wear. There's no way for me to really fairly test these bands unless I buy the bigger Apple Watch model, which maybe I'll do at some point. So that's all I have for this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. I'm out.